we need to know where we are before we can forecast where we're going. And forecasting is really the core of project controls. Where I thought it would be really interesting is just do a really deep dive on progress and its, it's value. How do we validate it? How do we deal with subjectivity? All of the issues and problems around the day-to-day -day life of progress. My end goal is really getting to a couple of examples and diving deep on you know, how we at Nexus slash Cloud EPC measure progress and you know, the tool we built to try to deal with it. On a lot of the projects that we're looking at, while we are seeing some of these being milestone based, we're seeing more and more projects be tied to a percent complete. And so it all comes back to that percent complete calculation and validating where you are because giant spreadsheets like this, um, where there's an area designation, large sum if statements for these different rules of credit, um, to be able to do um, summaries by area or summaries by service, lots and lots of information to be understanding where we are, where are we at, are we ready for hydro, what do we have less left in punch list, and being able to answer those complicated questions, unfortunately, always comes back to project controls and it becomes our livelihood. So we have to wear multiple hats and then we need to be able to do lots and lots of ad hoc reporting. Where, where Cloud EPC comes into play and we do all the other great stuff and I'm not gonna sit here and tout our software, but one of the things that we needed in Nexus and tying the storyline together was being able to validate progress. And we're effectively doing the same math that you were seeing on those other complicated spreadsheets, except instead of tabs, you would have all your disciplines and all your trackers in one nice easy place that you can set up these different layouts. We, we, we can take all of this data, all of these earned hours, all of these units of measure, and what it's doing is effectively pivoting this data and starting to give you information on all of this data that you've captured in a database that we're, we've traditionally seen in these large infrastructure jobs being lost in Excel.